Hi guys! Welcome back to my Scentsy channel. I am Erica Dodin and I am your independent Scentsy consultant. So today I'm going to go over what I've been warming slash using. Um, I haven't got through a lot within the last week, but obviously I got a little bit of sun on my face this weekend. So um, we are going to talk about, like I said, what I've been going through um, and kind of what's what's been being used at my house um what we love what we don't really like exactly um so i'm just gonna go ahead and dive in real quick so um there's not a lot but i'm gonna start with the things that are not wax because obviously i go through a ton of wax um and i'm gonna start with the things that are not wax so the first couple things that i have are um pods so i have a scentsy go um and i have a wall fan diffuser and a mini fan diffuser and so i have went through the fiesta lime pods and i also have went through the pink cotton pods now if you know me i do not like pink cotton in the wax form now that is just my opinion only um that's you know everyone's noses are different um I personally do not like um, pink cotton in the wax form. So um, I like it in like the pods. I do love it in the fragrance flower. The fragrance flower I really, really love. Um, and so I just found stuff that I love in the pink cotton scent, but that is not the wax. So I went through those. I went through a counter clean of Sunkissed Citrus. Oh my God this is the stuff like I love this scent now I'm not super crazy about it in wax form it smells okay but it doesn't really perform very well for me so I don't really like it in the wax form um but I do like it in um the counter clean and the um scentsy fresh um love it love it love it love it in the counter clean especially um but yes so I went through the counter clean um, I use this for more than just like my counter um, it's really good to get things off like furniture um, off walls um, it's really good on fabrics so like we have a couple fabric chairs that sometimes get like some food stains in them because we have them in our dining room um, and so I'll just spray this on there scrub it really good and then it comes out so I really love this um, the scent is really powerful in the counter clean um, so I also love it for that purpose as well um, I've gone through a blue grotto, it is kind of dirty, a blue grotto hand soap in our bathroom. Um, like I said, we always, always, always have these on hand in the bathroom, whoopsies, and in the kitchen. Um, I love our hand soaps. They actually take quite a while to go through, so people are always like, wow, that's a little hand soap. Like, that must not take very long. No, it takes a long time to go through our hand soaps because just a simple one pump gets you super lathered um, and washes your hands very very well so the hand soap gets um, gets a 10 out of 10 for me so that's that and then we've gone through a big tub of washer whiffs in Amazon rain Amazon rain is one of my favorites in the laundry line because it is so um, fresh it's kind of um, it's not overpowering um, but it is really 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 nice so for those of you that haven't seen the washer whiffs um, I don't have obviously this is empty it always comes with a scoop sometimes the scoop is kind of like down inside the crystals uh, inside the uh, whiffs or whatever um, but it always comes with a um, scoop I can still smell the scent and it just smells so good I love Amazon Rain. I did switch to Luna, and Luna is one of our favorites, so I switched from Amazon Rain to Luna at this point. All right. I did, however, go through a couple of my oils, and I did not bring them, so those will wait another week. Um, what I have been warming. So, I've been warming Snow Kiss Cranberry. This was last year's... Um, November scent of the month and I love it. I had it in my Scentsy Club and then I knocked it off because I had it for a couple months in a row and I've had I have quite a few bars of it um, and I realized that I wasn't going through it as much as I thought I would so I just knocked it off but I do still have a couple of those bars so snow 
snow kissed cranberry for the win on that one that one smells so good it's so light um but it has that like cranberry scent to it but it's a very sweet kind of cranberry i really love it um the next thing is rockin ruby raz i love this one um it was in the easter collection this last year or this last couple of months um, and I wanted to try it because I have had so many other friends and consultants say you should really try R Rock and Ruby Raz if you love like your fruitier scents. Um, and so I just tried it. I put it in my club for one month just to try it. I received it and I said I'm not taking it out. And it smells delicious. Um, when I first smelled it, I thought it smelled like um, fruit by the foot, that like fruit snack. Um, and I loved those when I was a kid. I used to eat those all the time. Um, and so that's kind of just like a little fond memory of this scent. So I'm always keeping that. Rock and Ruby Raz. That is another good one. Another good one is Watermelon Patch. So this one also came back um, in the Bring Back My Bars. Um, it wasn't, I think it was last Bring Back My Bar. Um, and I really love the watermelon scent um, for uh, summer and springtime, obviously, but um, I just love having this in like a bathroom um, just because it's a fresh like it's not to me it is not overpowering though like it's not the watermelon is not overpowering um, it's a very fresh watermelon scent so I like to keep these in um, like a bathroom or something um, because that is my shiz um, I love fruity scents like I just said I love fruity scents um and so I will keep those on deck all the time I do like um some like warmer scents too so like you'll see me use a lot of like fruity and or citrus scents during the spring and summer months but then once um I hit like fall and winter I get really cozed up and I I just love the cozier scents so like um welcome home I love that one in the fall and winter months because it is just so cozy. I love it. Um, so spring and summer are definitely going to be more fruity, more citrus, more florals for me. Um, and then in the fall and winter months, it's going to be very cozy, very cinnamon, pumpkin. I am not on the um, pumpkin and or apple side. I am right in the middle because I love both. I love a good pumpkin smell, but I really love a good like apple cinnamon smell as well. So that's that's that one. Then I have grapefruit orange from the Mix It collection. Um, I did this. I did add this into my Scentsy Club because I love this scent. Um, my fiance really loves this scent as well. He likes the more citrus scents um, rather than like the fruity scents. Um, and so grapefruit and orange always goes in our bedroom. Um, he loves this scent. It's very powerful. Um, and so I really, really, really love this one. So that one was the Grapefruit Orange. Another one from the Mix It collection is the Spun Sugar and Vanilla. Um, I use this in my living room because it is kind of um, overpowering for a small area. So the living room is where I keep uh, this bad boy. And it performs like a champ. Um, if I had to uh, down it down, if I had to like calm it down a little bit, I may put like a um, like an apple butter frosting in there or even like a just a regular Johnny apple seed um, because then it would be like a um, like a vanilla apple kind of thing um, and that would be really good. I am keeping this in my um, club because this, the um, vanilla, makes it feel more... Um, what do I want to say cozy so I would even probably warm this in the fall and winter months and probably do it with like um like a Johnny Appleseed like I just said or like even like a butter pecan um I would do that so these I love this one this performs very very well for me sugar spun and vanilla um in my dining room slash kitchen kind of thing um, I was warming orange dreamsicle. This was also in the bring back bars the last time and if you love an orange dreamsicle popsicle or like a cake or any kind of dessert this is for you. Um, I love this one. I did warm it in um, our bathroom downstairs and our dining room and realized that that was way too much. I could not handle it myself um, so I decided never to do that again. 
only one place at a time for this powerhouse of a scent um orange dreamsicle is super super sweet it like i said it smells just like um like the dessert or like the ice cream um and so i really 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 like that one the next one i have going is in our other bathroom at the moment and it is pineapple and fuego um i like the pineapple scents the pineapple pucker to me is not um the best i think it's almost too sour where this pineapple and fuego is a little on the sweeter side of a pineapple um and i like the pineapple scent or pineapple scents this to me is sweet and it smells very good but it smells a little too artificial so not like a real pineapple um but i do i would prefer this over pineapple pucker all right we're dwindling down to the last couple here um here come the sunflowers is always gonna be my number one favorite it is a very floral scent i always keep it in either our um bedroom or our bathroom it's a um it's a simple floral it's very calming it's not overpowering by any means um and i really really like it it's a fresh it's definitely a fresh floral this has been added to my scentsy club because i don't want to get rid of this i love floral scents and if you were with me excuse me if you were with me last august we had a um scent that was called harbor's edge and the here come the sunflowers reminds me a lot of the harbor's edge and i really really loved harbor's edge so this one is my definite fave all right last but not least i have rise and sunshine so that is this month's scent of the month and it is very nice it is a very tangerine citrus smell um, I have a brochure right here. I can kind of tell you what um, the legit description is for Rise and Sunshine. It says, sunny orange sparkles over the eye-opening sweetness of cherry and red berries. So I definitely smell the red berries. Um, maybe a little cherry, um, but I definitely smell more citrus than anything. Um, and I love, love, love citrus, like I already said. Um, but this to me also has kind of like a spice to it. Like I, um, watch one of the other consultants here on YouTube and she described hers as a more of a spice and I hadn't ever warmed it yet. Um, and this was just like right before July. So I said, I'm going to take a bar of my own and I'm going to warm it and see if I can compare to what she's saying. So, um, Miss Lisa Roberry, if you are out there, I am going to, um, compare noses with you um so she said that there's a spice in here i would 100 percent agree um i do feel like there's kind of a somewhat spice in here um i do love this one because like i said i love citrus so i really 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 do love this one um but i would definitely keep this for like the fall and winter months uh she said the same thing um i would i would um i would probably keep one or two bars around come um the fall time because i think even with like a good cinnamon smell i think that would kind of boost the um the spice to it and really give off a very very good scent um this to me kind of reminds me of a um like a cider mule if you've ever had one of those my aunt makes them all the time during um fall and winter and they smell just like this so it does have a spice to it um, but it del still does have that citrusy scent to it. So it is a very good summer scent still. Um, but yeah, so the Rise and Sunshine, there's that one. I did forget a couple that are sitting here behind my camera that I've been warming here in my Scentsy room. So let me put all these back here. Um, the next one I do have is Amazon Rain. I do switch that out um, quite frequently in here and then in our bathroom because it's a very calm scent you guys all know that i love 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 amazon rain and it is a very calm scent it's not very um overpowering but it is very fresh and i love it so i've been using that in the scentsy room here and i've been using it in our bathroom and then squeeze the day this is always my favorite for summer um it smells just like uh, just smells like a lemon bar or like a lemonade stand if you were younger um love this one 
this is a definite powerhouse for me it performs very very well um like i said i always keep this whoopsies i always keep this in my bathroom for sure um because it is such a fruity fresh scent that i don't like to get rid of it i don't um it does it has not made itself into my scentsy club yet because lo and behold scentsy has released that it will be coming back in the fall and winter catalog um i don't know how well it will sell in the fall and winter months because obviously a lot of people will like the more apple pumpkin warmer scents um but i definitely will be purchasing at least one or two of these bars because i am dwindling down to my last one um i like i said i love this one this is a good performer for me um and i I just love it. I love a lot of scents. Everyone on my Facebook lives always say, you love that scent. You love that scent. I know. I have so many scents that I love, and I'm sure anyone, any consultant will tell you um, that they are the same way. So um, let me know. Drop some comments on what you're using around your house, what you're warming. Maybe um, you have some questions, or maybe you can even comment on some of the things that I have been using, that you have been using. And maybe give me your opinions on them. Maybe you've been using Amazon Rain and you don't really like where it's at. Maybe you want to move that scent to somewhere else. Um, so drop some comments. Let's see what's going on with you all. Um, and I will be back tomorrow for a Wax Wednesday. Bye guys. Have a good week.